In your lesson tomorrow, you're going to be asked to use some molecular model kits to model how um, methane, which is the main component in natural gas, how that would burn in air. In order to model that chemical reaction, we're going to have you build uh, models of the molecules involved. Before you do that, though, you're going to need to know a little bit about how the molecular model kits work. The colored balls that you will find inside the model kit that have holes in them, they represent atoms. And there's a color code. There's a standard way of color coding the, the colored balls to represent atoms of particular elements. The black balls represent carbon. The red ones represent oxygen. The white ones represent hydrogen. The green balls represent halogens like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. Yellow represents sulfur. Blue represents nitrogen. And the purple or silver is generally used to represent metals. The gray or white connectors represent the bonds between atoms that make the molecule. Okay, couple of simple rules. All the holes must be filled with bonds. And this might mean that more than one bond occurs between the same two atoms. Also, all the bonds have to be connected to an atom on each end. You can't have the bonds just waving around in space, not connected to anything. This is an example of what a model of a carbon dioxide molecule should look like. Notice that the black ball in the center represents the carbon atom. The two red balls on either side represent the oxygen atoms. And you'll notice that there are actually four bonds here. That's making sure that all of the holes in the, at the model atoms are filled and that all of the bonds are connected to something on both sides. This is, um, in this way, this is a pretty accurate representation of how um, bonds actually occur between atoms of carbon and oxygen to make up a molecule of carbon dioxide. That's beyond uh, the scope of year 9 and 10 courses. Um, but we will explain all of that to you uh, if you elect to take year 11 and 12 chemistry.